and so on. And I was amazed how many of these people have super serious legal problems. And we don't cover it enough, I think. I kind of, this is a natural segue to my last question to you both. Um, and this is really just advice for me, so thanks for listening in. <laughs> I'm not an editor, but I'm going to take advantage of my don't get to sit down and check the every day. Um, what will come to seem remarkable? There are so many things going on. Um, a year ago, if you asked a journalist, what's up you? How's, how's things going? People would have said, oh, it's crazy. If you asked them, like, you know, a few months ago, how are things going? They'd say, oh, I'm crazy. If you asked them today, they would say, it's crazy. Um, there's a lot going on. Um, what will come to seem remarkable? Where should we be looking? That's a rough question. Yeah, thanks so much. <laughs> uh, well, I, obviously, I, I'm most interested in the outcome of of this, uh, this Trump saga uh, and where it goes. I mean, it's like full circle to how we started our conversation. And uh, I'm basically what I, it already pains me that we have a president who lies more than any president in contemporary U.S. history that's ever been measured or monitored in that way. Uh, the fact that having done a, a book about truth, but unfortunately publishing it in 2014, <laughs> there's a part of me that I wish I had waited a few extra years. It's uh, still, it's still coming. I know, but there's another, there's material for another book. But I, yeah, but I, anyway, well, to your question, I, I think, I really, my family on both sides came to the U.S. in the 1700s. I actually really believe in the country. I love this country. And when truth doesn't matter, it really pisses me off. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. And I'm waiting to see if truth and accountability are going to win in this. I mean, I'm really being direct. If, if all this plays out and nothing changes, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to be probably in a serious depression for maybe months or years. Serious. I, that to me is the test. I want to see where this goes. Here's hoping you avoid serious depression, Gene. <laughs> well, I mean, much to say, but it's not just the Trump. The Trump story you can see as a. I mean, it's fascinating, and his personality is fascinating, and it's a, he's unprecedented as a, a president in this country. But it's a symptom, I think, of the bigger story, which is really about the challenge to democracy around the world right now, partly because of the explosion of what we're talking about, fake news, fake information, uninformed people, manipulation of, of, of information. Without that, you can't have, you know, if you can't get the truth to people, they can't, there can't be democracy really. It's the, 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 the essential building block. And, it, and, and we're not alone in this country in, in dealing with this issue. So I think that's the big story, um, and, and, and we're all both covering it and part of it. Jane, Chuck, you did not leave me very uh, bubbly and uplifted. <laughs> I am, however, looking forward to everything that comes out of you. Thank you so much.